Good morning. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have done with the SQL. How the SQL commands will be executed in. So now in this video, we'll start with the interface Python with the SQL. So today in this video, we'll start with the theoretical work, and after that, we'll start with the practical. So we'll start with a interface. python with mysql so very firstly we have to connect python with the mysql then only we'll get the command whatever the output will in the mysql so what are the various steps to connect python with the sql the very first step is start python obviously if your python will not start we cannot connect python with the sql so very first step is start python second step what you have to do now you have to connect python with the mysql so if you don't have a mysql connector then you cannot attach python with the mysql so you have to connect mysql connector with the python for that what you have to write import mysql dot connector means what is this you have to import packages for database programming what do you mean by this when you want to connect python with the sql you have to connect the database with python for it means you have to add you have to import some packet so what is that that is mysql dot connector if you are not importing this you cannot attach python with the sql third what you have to do you have to open a connection to database so what do you mean by this when open a connection to the database it means there is some backend sql in your laptop or computer in which you are doing programming so obviously there is something mysql or sql your anything means which are used for the database you have to open a connection for that how you would open a connection so how you would do this thing for this thing you have to do a connection object is equal to mysql dot connector mysql dot connector dot connect within a bracket you have to give a host name you have to give a username you have to give a password and you have to give a database name okay so what is this here you have a user so user is what it is a user name of your sql when you install your sql you get your user name you get your password name you get your host name so everything you have to write here so it doesn't mean if in on my laptop i just 
put the password as 1234 so maybe on your laptop the password is ABCD so whatever the password you put while installing the MySQL on your laptop you have to put that password here so it is according to your laptop so it is according to your laptop whatever the password is putting here okay so this is open a connection to the database so till here what is the coding is to be done start python import mysql dot connector means you have to import package for it then you have to open a connection to the database so till now we have done the three steps now how you can write these three steps in the coding so now we will do that firstly So what we write firstly is whenever you run any program which have a python which you in which you want to connect python with the sql so very first what you have to write import mysql dot connect so the very first line which you have to use while in the programming import mysql dot connector so every time while you write these big line mysql dot connector so you have to use a alias for that also i just write sqlitor sql so i sql it means this is known as alias alias means wherever you want to use this now you just write sql it means this is the alias okay so import mysql connector as sql then you have to make a object for that so i just take the object as my phone means i just put a connection so i write here sql dot connect if I am not taking this alias, so uh, what should I have to write? Then I have to write mysql.connector.connect. But now I just taken the alias, so I just write sql.connect. Then bracket host is equal to every time the host is always the local host. Okay, and this is in on the in the same line user is always a root okay the thing is change in the password only the change is in the password only so i just write here password as a uh, one two three four i just write it is uh, my password is this so whatever the password is yours you can write database under which database i have to connect these so you have to write that database name so i just write here test so whatever the database name is yours you can write that so this is a second part okay so now if you want to check your connection is ready to work or not then how you can check that so what is the code for that so simple just write if now this is the object of connection object so i just simply write if my con dot is connect so is connect is is connected so this is a function here is connected is a function here okay is underscore connected if my con dot is underscore connected so you simply write print successfully connected to my so you just write the successfully connected to 
mysql okay so in this way you can check whether it is to be a um, it is connected to the mysql or not it means by this basically function you can check very easily whether this pass whether this is to be a your this code is correctly working or not because if this is not a print successfully connected it means if this is not being executed properly then you cannot connect with a sql with the python but if this print command is to be a there it means your connection python is properly connected with the sql so before doing any programming firstly you have to check with this command that python is connected with the sql or not hopefully you understand this thing and uh, if there is something problem till now you can write in the comment also we'll discuss in a next part okay so till here what is the thing we are connected with the sql we are connected we with the username and password now after this what is the fourth step now the fourth step is you have to create a instance you have to create a instance so what is instance that is a cursor instance how you can do that so you have to write cursor cursor is equal to before that we have making the object mycon so i just write here a mycon in the second step we have created that so mycon dot cursor okay now in the step 5 we have to execute a query so whatever the query you we want to execute so in the fifth step we have to execute the query for example i just write cursor dot execute if whatever the query i want to write so i just write select start from suppose table name is the data so i just write select star from data means whatever the execution whatever the query you want to execute you have to execute it in the fifth part now in the step 6 you have to fetch the data means if you want to fetch either single row or a all rows whatever the fetching you want to do you have to uh, fetch the data within the this step so if you want to fetch all the data so how you can write that so you just write data is equal to cursor dot fetch all fetch all means the name itself signify whatever all means the all data all the rows inside particular table the data is to be fetched out and if you want to count the number of the rows after fetching then you can write count is equal to cursor dot row count it means after the fetching if you want to check how many rows it have so you just write a count and after that obviously you have to count the numbers in this way you can do the fetch all commands okay so now if you want a so this is a one part of fetch if you want suppose fetch one so name itself signify now you have to fetch only one row so same in the same manner you can write that fetch cursor dot fetch one so fetch one give the data or a row only once but it fetch all just give the data all 
in the last step what we have to do we have to clean the environment clean the environment what do you mean by this it means whatever the cursor is opening in the starting you have to close that now what the object we have made we have made the micon object so in the last you have to close that micon dot close so these are the various steps while connecting with the python with the mysql okay so in this manner you just attach python with the mysql now there is one more method that is a py mysql so it depends upon you either you in your laptop if there is a mysql then you just add mysql dot connector and it is by default within the oracle but if you don't have a oracle suppose you just install the anaconda then in the anaconda you have a python interface that is a front end only you don't have a back end at that time so you just add a parallelly one more environment like sql jo for the back end part so at that time you want a sql connector so at that time you can't write as a mysql dot connector at that time you just write a py mysql okay so py mysql connector is used if you have a some extra means that is not in the packet you just add extra sql connector in your laptop that is not in the packet so at that time you can use the py mysql so this is all about the theoretical part so in the next video we'll start with the practical part of this interface python with a mysql so hope you all understand the theoretical part so if you have still any query regarding this you can write in the comments so because if you still have a query you can't understand the practical part so write in the comment whatever the problem you face so in the next video very firstly we'll uh, solve that problem and after that uh, start the practical part so keep subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so you uh, just get the new notifications of all the videos thank you so much